Mary rece received early diagnosis, which completely changed her life. She'd become introverted, unable to meet friends, and uh, or anybody, even doing shopping was a terrible problem for her. But with early diagnosis, she got medication that completely changed her life, got her back on track and able to function. She's enjoying life again for the past five years, and she wouldn't, couldn't even come out of the house for some time prior to getting the medication from the doctors. Anyone who has thoughts there's a chance they might have Alzheimer or a related illness should definitely be checking with their doctor and do it quickly because you'll be missing out on a big part of your life if you don't. When presented with different medications to take, you have to persevere. You have to stay on top of what your doctor is prescribing and watching for side effects. In the, uh, in the end, you'll, you might have gone through three to five different drugs to get one that works for you without too much side effect. And uh, it's very difficult because it's, a lot of these things are rated uh, objectively, but what you really want is a subjective result. That is, you want to be happy. Okay. And not, it's, it's difficult. You really have to persevere with the right medication to get to where you want to be. Probably one of the first things when, when you get a diagnosis is to check with your local Alzheimer's Society and use all the resources that they can provide and steer you towards. Um, for example, in my wife's case, it got her involved with socializing and it also, she realized uh, that they were trying to get people to uh, do brain exercise, and that meant getting online in her case and doing uh, uh, games, different uh, flash games on the computer. When we went to see the Alzheimer's Society at our, uh, in our hometown, we, uh, my wife was steered towards uh, a, uh, a group uh, of people with Alzheimer's who met regularly and it helped her greatly getting the support and understanding and seeing that she wasn't alone in her suffering.